Hello, 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 you slimy rascal. How have you been? We have a new solo event that has basically just started, the Featherfall Winter solo event, and this solo event is very different from the previous solo events that we've had, because you can see there are 20 tiers to this solo event, and there are more than two dragons, because we have the brand new Asteroid Dragon, we have the Violin Dragon as one of the other rewards, and then we've also got Snuggle at the 10th one. So, this is going to be the same as a regular solo event, but there are a ton more tiers. You can get stuff like breeding tokens, gems. Overall, these seem like some pretty, pretty good rewards, I'm not going to lie. So, uh, collect gold, collect food, and feed dragons. You know, seems easy enough so far. But you do need to make sure that you've got your food or your farms open, you've got enough habitats, and if you can, that your breeding is all sorted. But, aside from this new solo event, I should probably update you on what happened regarding the previous castle event. So this was from this morning, just a few hours ago here, and um, because I got so unlucky with the key, it was actually cheaper for me to unlock the Cherry Ice Legendary first which is the first time that's ever actually happened to me. So there we go. Dragon completed. Cherry Ice is ours. I'm very happy to have this dragon. But again, we get the Cherry Ice dragon first, and then it was then afterwards we go back onto level 6 here, open up this final chest, right at the tippy top of the mountain top, of course. And there is our key. Finally. Finally. Ned, thank goodness you're safe. I heard the Dunkle Viking kidnapped you and I came here to rescue you and, uh, um, and you're fine. And in the middle of singing a duet with Dunkey, what even is happening right now? What's happening is that me and my co-writer are putting the final touches on our holiday album. And may I add, having great fun doing it. Yeah, happy Frost Festival, are ya? Hey, wanna sing backup vocals in our grand finale? I know you'd be great. Uh, I'm still really confused right now, but that kind of sounds amazing. Count me in, and happy Frost Festival to you guys too. And of course, DML breaks every single time we successfully complete an event. I I'm just used to this at this point, that every time I finish an event or get a reward dragon, the game is just going to crash. This has been going on for months. I'm not even going to moan about it. It's, the it's not even one of the slightest things to complain about. But that is Mr. Avalanche, so again, we're gonna go and ski on his back and fly off. Love it. Absolutely love it. So we did get all of the dragons out of the castle event. I'm happy that we did. And realistically, it would be a good idea for us to not put in the legendary, but I kind of want to see that cherry ice dragon getting hatched soon. I mean, we've got the cherry ice there. Uh, we've also got... Um, What's it called? The Twilight Dragon from the collection that I am yet to hatch as well. We've got Avalanche there. But, you know, we'll get all of them hatched eventually. We've just been kind of slow on the uptake so far. And Cherry Ice has such a cool egg. Anyone else think that? A really cool egg. And yes, that is a Capricorn. We, we have been successful in our Zodiac collection this month, which is a good thing. I'm very happy. So that's roughly what's been happening the last few days, you know. Even though I wasn't here for like a full day and a half, we still managed to do that event despite the terrible luck. So, not quite as demanding as, say, the previous event that we just had, which is quite nice. Um, we've also got Ikez. It's nearly fully upgraded, which is pretty good. But I guess we'll continue on with this Feather Fall event for now. So, Feed Dragons. Um, it's normally better to use a level 1 dragon, but I don't care. So there we go. Our first item here is a sled. And then moving on to tier 2 here is more feeding, leveling up dragons, and breeding of hybrids. So, you know, there are a lot of small quests for us to do here. Just because I want to show you some of the other tiers, I'm going to gem this one. There we go, I've gemmed it. And we've got two dragon piece tickets. Not a bad, not a bad thing to take back. So now we've got hatching, winning battles, and collecting gold. These are still one each, and the collecting gold is three per item. So, of course, with this being a solo event, we're still going to have some pretty low timers, and it means that you're going to have to be logging in really, really frequently, which um, is probably going to end up being really annoying. 
because one of the main complaints that people have and I have is the fact that things like the boss challenge event, they're really annoying because expecting people to log in every two hours isn't really feasible or it's not, it's not really very realistic. So now with some of these solo event tiers we're probably going to be having to log in every 20 minutes or so. So God help you if you play on PC and you don't happen to be at home at the time. Because you know, some people are off on their like school holidays, work holidays. Some people are still working and doing random stuff. Just because it's Christmas it doesn't mean everyone's going to be at home. And if you're like me, I don't actually spend Christmas at my own house pretty much ever. So I don't know how I'm going to get all of this sorted in terms of DML stuff, but hey, I guess we'll find out. We'll see how much we can actually get done by the end of everything. But I will. So, for now, you can see that we're just sort of stuck until we get this collect gold stuff done. So, it's going to be kind of boring until then, but make sure you're logging in on time to come back and do all of these tiers. Mainly, as long as you get Snuggle, at least that's a new dragon. I do really want Asteroid, but don't know if it's going to be doable. And of course we've also got a new bottomless dungeon. The last time I actually did anything in the dungeon was a while ago. But one thing to note is that we've got a helper dragon in here that you can buy if you wanted to. We've also got pieces for the Snow Queen dragon. I, I thought that we weren't getting pieces for the Snow Queen, but apparently now we are. So you can buy the pieces for her if you were like a couple of pieces away when she was first available. Maybe you're going to get yourself a new dragon. We've got snowman pieces. We've got VIP tickets or a ticket. I'm going to take that. Kitty dragon pieces, portal gems, double egg relics, legendary habitats, and some food. You know, the double egg relics are always kind of tempting. But 450 is quite expensive. Genuinely, it is quite expensive. And I've also heard many reports that most of the dungeon dragons in here are going to be Shadow. Which um, is generally not that good because, you know, the AoE that Shadow does on an enemy dragon um, means that you kind of get destroyed a little bit. I mean, these guys here seem to have a lot of fire so far, but, you know, that can quickly very quickly change. So, you know, keep that in mind that you may have to go against a lot of shadow dragons. I mean, look at this shadow, 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 which destroys our poor little ceremony god. So, apart from that, apart from that new solo event, which is basically exactly the same as before, but we've got more rewards this time, nothing really too, too different about DML. Um, I mean, it is kind of... It's, it's kind of like a slog because we just came out of a castle event and now we're going straight into another event again. So it does feel kind of like, God, are you, are you trying to kill us? You're trying to kill us? It's like, at one point it was divine events where we knew we'd have tons and tons and tons of events to do. But now it's just sort of always like that. Like there's always an event after an event after an event. I don't know if I can keep up. But hey, we'll see. Again, I'm, I really want the snuggly boy and the new boy and I already have the violin so I don't really care too much about the violin dragon. But, you know, when you've got Christmas going on and all the festivities going on then you've got to log into DML and then play other games if you do that. It's quite a lot. Quite a lot to keep track of. But I would recommend that, you know, just enjoy the holiday season. Even if you're not someone that celebrates Christmas, I guess just enjoy the atmosphere of other people enjoying it. Because, you know, some people do not celebrate Christmas time. And it's important to remember that. So if you're always like, ooh, what are you doing for Christmas? And then someone's like, uh, I'm not really doing anything, Lamau. It, you know, it's not their fault. It's just, I guess they follow a different religion. Although, to be honest, I'm not religious. But Christmas is just sort of like present time. I'm pretty sure that's the main reason people do it now. Rather than for any religious reason, they just do it for the sake of 
receiving gifts. Which, hey! I don't think that's a bad idea at all. Although, personally, I'm someone that doesn't really like receiving gifts from other people. Because I don't like knowing that they waste their money on me. But, you know, some people love getting random gifts at Christmas time. And power to you. Power to you if that's you. But, you know, I don't know what's going to be happening with uploads either. Because, I, obviously, with stuff happening, I'm not going to be at home. We'll see. I mean, uploads have been kind of frantic recently anyway. So I don't think it really matters too much. But, you know... I guess enjoy your DML dragony stuff, whatever you've got going, and if you got the other dragons out of the previous event, then, you know, hope you are enjoying them. I mean, it is pretty cool that we got a legendary out of the previous event. I didn't mind that at all. I'll take a free legendary dragon any day of the week. If you're gonna throw it at me, I'll take it. I'll take it. But, regular old bottomless dungeon, come back in another 10 minutes. Hang on, why has that got a 12 minute cooldown? That's weird. I thought it was a 10 minute cooldown normally. I'm a bit spooked now. I'm a little bit very spooked now. Oh well. So, you can see that we'd be able to collect one more from the collect gold pool in another 10 seconds. So, I guess we'll go and collect that. I mean, 28 gems... At for tier 3 already, it seems like it's going to be kind of a costly event to start speeding things up. From the looks of it, there's probably going to be one quest that's an expensive one. And that's going to be it. I really wish it wasn't like that, but that is just going to be how it is. So every 7 minutes, I guess we come back and collect more gold. So that's like a 21 minute cooldown. Do you like keep all of that in mind? Um. Any other tips for solo events, make sure you got a lot of level 1 dragons, make sure you got a lot of habitats up, make sure you got your farms free, um, and you've got your breeding den free if you can, because you don't want to be gemming things if you don't have to, so try and avoid doing that as much as you possibly can. Uh, we do have a bundle here for some gems and some hatching relics and breeding relics. Eh, I still don't really like that. We do have a £2 bundle, or just under, for the wind-up dragon. If you wanted to buy him, you know, £1.70, I think that's a good deal. If you want this dragon, I don't even mind you doing this. You're basically buying a skin. I like that. I like those kinds of microtransactions. And then, finally, we've got the new dragon of the week, which is Mr. Polar Bear, which you're going to need to use in some of the breeding stuff. So, um, you're probably going to want to get a hold of him. Remember that. So, for now, I'm going to collect... A little bit of the food that we've got here. Um, have fun in the meantime. And uh, make sure you're logging in and doing all your stuff. Or doing as much as you want to do. Don't push it. Don't push it too far. But I appreciate you being here. Thank you for listening to me today. And until next time I see you. Have fun.